Hey guys, this is Ashley with Ashley Tries Gaming, and I am here with my tea households, and we are going to do a quick check-in on them. Hope you guys heard my intro. Um, let's click in and see who we have. I apologize for not posting for an entire week because I have been sick, but I'm feeling much better, but my voice may go in and out, but I think it normally does that anyway. So, wow, we have, at this home, we have five people. These are our playable members with the little green thing, Boba and Peppermint. Um, these are their kids. They've grown up. We have Hibiscus spearmint and juniper mint and i can't believe that they're growing up matcha i think is our newest member grace is his mom lemon and peach are his sisters and i think i remo removed his dad so i need to go in and remove his mom as well That's usually what I like to do when I first kind of start the day is kind of clean up the households a little bit. Um, I try not to let it get over like six or so because I think there is a limit of eight, but I'm not sure. Um, in this household, we have... playable dandelion and then this is her brother and sister we have blueberry and sweet tea all right so the first thing that i wanted to do with this episode was i have two people who need to get married and so boba we need you to go home And we're going to call over his significant other, who is, I do not know his name, Lucas Garcia. And I don't think they've gotten married, but yeah, they're, they're fiancés. So, we're going to do Here Comes the Wedding. They've already had their three kids. We just want them to get married. So, we're going to ask about family traditions. Aw, they look so handsome. Plan number of kids. Y'all are maxed out. We're going to sway together. I have removed some of their kids since they've become adults, but I believe Hibiscus is his child. Let me show you. Yeah, Hibiscus, this is his son. And then these two ladies are Peppermint's youngins. <laughs> We're going to rejoice about newlywed woohoo. We're going to do a happy dance. That's cute. Two step it up. They look so cute in their suits. Confess opinions on wedding. This is kind of like our media room here. Let's see. We're going to admire lovely flowers. We're going to confess initial desire to elope. Papa, please. Why we cover? We're going to, we'll tell him he looks classy. We're going to avoid discussing future in-laws. Enjoy first dance. Aww. That is so cute. I'm trying to see. These are our wedding things over here. But it's not really giving us anything to do. I don't know why. It just doesn't really give us sometimes things to do. Anticipate wedding night. 
I'm going to kiss lovingly. Aww. Reveal ideal future. I like how he just like disappeared. We're going to plan our retirement. We're going to ask about family traditions. We're going to rejoice about Neelyhood Woohoo. And we only have two more. We're going to dance. Alright, so the next thing we want to do is we want to call over our peppermint spouse, Vitor. And he, the, whoever is his player keeps changing his outfit. <laughs> because he is wearing some short shorts. Like, oh my goodness. And they are about to get married. So they look like a very odd couple. She's like Halloween dressed up and he's dressed to like go to the beach. But I mean they live on the water so. Alright. Avoid discussing future in-laws. Okay. Nice. That looks much better. Enjoy first dance. Aww. <laughs> I like how she dipped him. We're going to sweep off her, their feet. I don't know where they're at. Sometimes we just have more room in the media room, so I tend to go here to step it up. So we've got another double wedding. Confess opinions on wedding. Uh-huh. That was cute. Confess cold feet. Didn't go well. We're going to plan number of kids, although they are done. We're going to ask about family traditions. Slow dance sweetly. Rejoice about newlywed woohoo. She's like, that's a hoot. We already have plenty of kids. <laughs> um not giving me too many options. We're going to enjoy a set of commitment. And guys, if you look at the kiddos, so I'm going to be retiring these two since they're getting married. Um, I'm probably going to retire them in the next episode or two. So you guys let me know who do you want to replace them. Do you want hibiscus? He probably will make it just because so we can have another goth. But which of these girls do you like? We have Juniper Mint. She's adorable. And I also love Spearmint. She's really cute. So let me know in the comments who you'd like to see. Um, I think I'm going to let them do one more thing. And then I'm going to move on to check in on the other two. Reveal ideal future. Like, I'm just going to walk through you. And now she's thinking about trees. <laughs> I wonder what kind of trees. Alright, I don't want to get demonetized. So let's move on. I have my other Tims. My other Tims. My other Sims doing some work. This is Dandelion. And she is a newer Sim. So I forgot her name. And she's doing pretty good with her relationship with this guy. Um, they don't have any kids yet, so we need to work on that, and she is a writer, and she also is a doctor, so we're going to use the light, get sudsy, seek a second opinion from co-worker, attempt advising lifestyle change, 
Where's your glove? Gibbs. They look wimpy. Hmm. Oh, no. I like how she said Yibs. Yibs. <laughs> uh, check patient's vitals. One patient is convinced that patient zero was a space alien, but looking at this chart, he seems to blame space aliens for everything. Oh yes, Garrett, he's alien obsessed. He also has a theory that we're living in a computer stimulation. Gotta love his imagination. We're gonna have to work overtime to find a cure. So apparently there's some sort of cure that they're working on finding too. People need reassurance about their health and safety. The mystery yeah. yes. cure. Uh -huh. So now she's like more of a researcher. I've never seen anything like this virus. Virus it spreads at an alarming rate and almost is alien in nature. Alien in nature. You're sounding a bit like Garrett, that alien obsessed patient I mentioned before. You're right. I'm sure once we dig deeper, we'll find a rational explanation. So I'm gonna let her work a standard shift. Perform simple surgery. I really like this thing. Would y'all let her perform surgery on y'all? <laughs> Disinfect. Practice serious doctor voice. Attempt advising lifestyle change. Explain diagnosis. Change lighting. Attempt advising lifestyle change. Wash hands. Use lights. Verify symptoms. Attempt advising lifestyle change. And we're going to ask about medical history. And now we're going to let her play the rest of that out. Let's go check on our dude. I think it's this matcha. Oh, I hate when they do that. So when we do this, the two, so he is working in the lab as an intern, and what happens is sometimes when I work these two jobs up here by the waterfront, they do this thing where they only show us like a few of these, so we're not going to be able to do too much. Control deep sea drone, practice procedures. Dispose of hazardous waste. See, you see how it like doesn't let us get inside of there until we do one of these attempt pipette. So, I actually do want to go ahead and let him finish this though, so I can let him do. We'll let him do something else. You must be the new marine biology intern. You arrived just in time. We have a marine biology emergency. Wow, what? Wait, really? That never happens. Uh, haha, -ha, gotcha. But I'm still happy you're here. Finally, someone to play ping pong with. So he's moving on to chapter two. 
Um, I'm happy to show you the ropes in the lab. Ropes meaning long strands of protein goo we've been synthesizing. Oh, yay. Okay. All right, so let's take him home. Now, he is my newest sim. And, again, sometimes I kind of play it on my own. And so, he is soulmates with Candy Bear. And I'm going to let them socialize for a minute. I think I might let him propose. Let's do that. I like her little outfit. We're going to discuss careers. I think I need to move the little bassinet over here. Play romantic games. Ask about hobbies. Reveal personality quirks. So the Sim Festival is going on. I've already completed it. We have 10 more days. So it lets you bank like 6,000 tickets to go to the next time they run it. So I'm kind of doing some of these, but kind of not. Yeah, so we've won all this. Which has been really nice. And we did win a new house. There it goes. Which I just need to find. Yeah, it's one free placement of this house template. So it's not the land. So we will uh, get there when we get there. Watch a scary movie, and that's kind of all I want is just four houses, so one for each of my players. Dare to chug. Juice. <laughs> Attempt poem reading. Oh, he has a nice voice. Wow. He has a really nice voice. Ask a question. We're going to bat our eyes. Disclose a risque dream. They're really cute. I need to, uh, they need to start having kids. <laughs> um, okay. And so, what I wanted to do next was kind of show you guys. They have a opened up the treasure hunt again I haven't been playing that much because I've been under the weather and so I just want to show you guys what we can win and what we've already won so we won this really cool vase we won this this is a spy hole I don't know what in the world we won this chair we won this little lantern and we won those little shorts that um peppermint's husband to be was, was wearing um I don't you know like I feel like if we win some of this stuff that's fine the I never win the chest I've never like won everything uh, uh, this one or the sweet treat challenge but here I want to actually show you what you can win you can let's see if I open it if it's a little bit bigger so you can win this toilet which is good like you know to have an extra toilet um, an office outfit and then you win the French braid trio which that's really cute I would really like to have that with five days left I seriously doubt we're gonna get there but hey we'll try um, you have these little quests that we can do we also can work on um, doing this this is we, you have a little quest that you can click on small fries quest for treasure so we've done three out of eight um probably not going to get far but if we do the bonus reward is this hair which is nice um wumples is doing something which is nice um looks like you can win this umbrella what is this this is like a oriental wallflower and then we can win 10 fashion gems so we have a lot of quests and stuff that we can do. I know one other thing that I wanted to end us on was we have 29 of these. So let's go ahead and make see if we can get something new, like a cute new outfit at Izzy's workshop. Or Izzy's fashion shop, excuse me. 
Come on, something new. We already have this. But it gives us, what is that? Little bugs? So it gives us like this little lightning effect. So that's kind of cute. Go forth and strut, darling. All right, guys. I think we are at um, a good stopping point. Let's see what we won. Oh, okay, so we won 750 little tickets for that. And they have like all these little quests that you can do. So you always have something to be doing. So it's, you know, this, that's one of the reasons I love Sims Mobile. Um, Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed this. If you do, please hit subscribe and like. And as always, happy Simmon! <laughs> Bye!